everybody, Elaine here from Peace Love Scrap. It's been a couple weeks since I've done a video, so I'm really excited. I have a small uh, haul to show you guys. I um, went to a local scrapbook store. Well, actually, I don't even know how local it really is because it's about 40 minutes from my house. But um, it's a great store, and if I ever get a chance to run over there, I like to check it out and, and see, see the new stuff that she's got in. It's called Scrappy Chic. She is in Livonia, if anybody's in the Michigan area and want to know where she's at. Um, but I just picked up a few things. There wasn't much that really that was that new that I don't already have. Huh, that's kind of sad. But um, there were a couple of 6x6 paper pads that I picked up because um, I wanted to try and use them with my cards. And I needed more masculine papers. So I got this, it's called Family Ties by Pebbles. So I got this one. If you can see here, it's got some, you know, like this polka dot paper and this, um, I don't even know what you want to call this, like grid. I'll show you. Here, let me open it up real quick and I can, if I can find my scissors in this mess, I probably can't. So I'm just going to try and peel this open. Ah, come on. Okay, here we go. So, let me figure out how to do this here so you guys can see it. Okay, never mind. That's not going to work. Still trying to figure out how to do all this video stuff because I am technology, technologically challenged. Okay, so here are some of the papers. It's this um, birdhouse, which I think is super cute. And then there's just this um, polka dot, green polka dot, which I thought would be a good masculine one. There's some, um, some orange. Gosh, how can I do this? Okay, there we go. Now we can see it. So there's that blue plaid, some blue and yellow flowers, some ledger paper. I don't know. What is this one? It's just, um, some dots, some stripes, Family tree. I don't know. That's probably the one I like the least. I probably won't even use that at all. Um, so anyways, see? Nice big blue, white polka dots. So I figured that would be good for stripes. So anyways, I thought this would be good for making boy cards. And then I got the Darlene Deer 6x6 paper collection by um, Studio Calico. Because again, this one had more darker, masculine type colors type colors in it so I have the full 12 by 12 set of this and I absolutely love it so um, I grabbed the 6x6 six six to use on my cards okay let me see if I can't figure out how to do this again okay so they have like this and my goodness you guys I'm backwards I am seriously so sorry that I'm so confused on how to show this to you guys okay so there's some stars some the speech this one's really cute so I'll show you guys up close some speech bubbles, and I don't even know what you want to call those stars. Another geometric type shape, some more dots. I like this one too. This is a whole bunch of different cameras on there. That's a pretty floral. I don't know, even for a man's card, I think that would be pretty. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Um, this is like an orangish red polka dot. Um, what is this one? Just some more geometric shapes. Ooh, I love this. Love that pattern. Some numbers. I thought this would be good for a man's card. Just, I don't know. I like the colors. More speech bubbles. More chevron. The diagonal stripes. Anyway, so... Those are the two. I only grabbed two 6x6 pads. I didn't see any other ones that really caught my eye. And then I did grab these um, American Craft Thickers. These are the Meadow, and um, they're the foil letter stickers. I grabbed these to go with my Fifth and Frolic collection from the Dear Lizzie collection from Elizabeth Kretschner. And so I'm excited about using those. And then I, I'm always having an adhesive dilemma. I never can quite figure out... 
I don't know. I go back and forth on adhesive. I find one that I like, and then after a while, after I'm using it for a few months, I'm like, eh, I don't like this one anymore. And I don't know. I go back and forth. I don't have one specific brand that I totally love. So if you guys, if anyone out there has one that you guys swear by, if you could please comment me and let me know what brand it is, I'd really appreciate it because, quite frankly, I haven't found one yet that I can say is my favorite. So I'm going to try this one. It's the Glue Glider Pro. Um, let me see who makes this. Glue Arts makes it. I don't know who they are. Glue Arts Creative Adhesive. Um, anyway, so it's the little glue, the little glue, the little glue holder. I had bought years ago, you know, that really big red one that people have. Um, I think it's by Scotch, the Scotch brand. Anyways, I kept fumbling around with it. The thing was huge. I hated, I'm working on a page. And I'm like, rip out my adhesive. I hated it. So I thought this little one, I think this is convenient, a nice little size. It'll be perfect to put on my pages. So I also bought the two, the refill, the two pack refill. This refill pack was 16 bucks. So, so that's $8 a piece. I don't know. It better be worth it. I mean, it's got 80 feet um, total, so that looks like, so it's a 40, 40 feet per cartridge, which is quite a bit because some of the ones I use only have a couple feet on it and they go by so quick. So um, I, I, didn't think, I didn't think the holder was bad. The holder was only $6.29. $6 so again, I got the holder and the adhesive. So again, like I said, if there, if anyone out there, if you guys know of an adhesive that you think it just rocks and you love it and it's your diehard go-to adhesive, if you could just comment me and let me know what it is, I'd really appreciate it. And then later I'll let you guys know how I like this one. I'm hoping that I can look for this online and find it even cheaper eventually. So if I happen to like it. So, um, all right guys, that's it. I am going to be posting a couple more videos here soon and, um, that's it. I'll talk to you. Have a great night, guys. Bye.